fancy your time, fancy your invitation. It's my first ever trip um, to Norway. Um, and my only two words in Norwegian, I'm afraid, are hi, tack, and I suppose hi bye. Um, so please excuse my English. Um, my hometown is Liverpool. We're a London based business, so I'll try and speak slowly so the English speaking amongst you can also understand me. Um, but as, as Nick explained, um, I'm the Marketing Opportunities Director um, for Blipper. We've been around for three years. Uh, we, uh, three years ago, we were a startup based in London. Uh, we're now worldwide offices in the likes of Madrid, Istanbul, Tokyo, <coughs> and a whole host of other cities across the States. Um, but um, as I said, it's the first time in Norway. So I thought it would only be fair if I actually dressed as the Norwegian flag. So I don't know if you'd actually see me. So... <laughs> But anyway, some of you, some of you have already tried. Um, very thanks to uh, to Nick and uh, Norwegian DTC. We blipped the cover of uh, of the program for today's events uh, rather hurriedly. So I'm going to show you some examples to show you exactly what we can potentially achieve with Blipper. But what is Blipper? Well, Blipper's the world's. Well, we would say so. Uh, Blipper's the, the foremost image or the leading image recognition platform. Um, in the world today. And what we do, we use, we, on smart devices, mobile phones, and even wearable technology these days, we bring any physical image in the real world to life to bring you digital experiences in real time. Um, I'm gonna show you some examples today that are travel related, but we work with the likes of brands such as Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble Group. But the applications of Blipper and image recognition um, are, are infinite. You're only challenged by your own sort of creative possibilities, your own mind. Um, I was a bit disappointed, but then again, it's a real opportunity for us that we didn't make Tina's ones to watch for next year. Um, but we have, a, currently we have nine million users, so we're far away from being the next Instagram or Facebook, but that's our, that's our ambition. We have an ambition to become a platform um, for image recognition. Um, I'm taking the risk of actually demonstrating mobile content off a mobile device, off an iPad. Um, but um, I'm not going to harp on too much about the technology. Tina very, and a few other speakers have rightly said, consumers and our customers aren't interested in how it's done. They're only interested in the magic. And the, um, the artist and musician, Laurie Anderson, uh, once said that technology is the campfire around which we tell our stories. Um, you know, this, this device is fantastic, but the device is not the story. And as soon as technology becomes the story, then we begin to let our consumers down. But essentially, um, we're gonna show you some pictures. Um, we're gonna show you some blips. Um, I'm not gonna talk about the technology, as I said. I'm gonna walk the talk. So if we may, um, let's begin blipping. Now, the first of any, um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to need to jump off this. This is when I get nervous. And fire up, we're still on our server, that's good. Fire up the free to download Blipper app. It's a free to download application on iOS devices, Apple devices, um, Nokia, Android, Windows phone devices, and on the high end Blackberries, on the Z10s and the like. Um, but as soon as you open up the app, it's, it's working here, but we've got a little bit of a latency. Oh, we're up, sorry, I'm just uh, getting ahead of myself. Um, let's just say this here, you won't be able to see this from the back, and as soon as I scan it, it may come to life. Um, but we work with Business Traveller magazine. Some of you may or may not be familiar with this. Um, they, they're in the UK, Singapore, and a few overseas territories. Um, they've been using our self-service platform, Blip Builder, uh, for some years. And in this instance, this is the Business Traveller airline survey magazine. And um, they brought this to life using our technology. So it's recognizing the, it's just recognizing the image there. And what to, so we can actually render, it's a little bit jumpy, but it's to actually render a 3D jet. Now this was the airline survey, so further on in the magazine, they asked the readers how to, they actually explained how you should use this interactive issue with the Blipper application. So I've just marked a couple of pages here. Um, the first of which, um, again, what's key to using new technologies and platforms such as this is education. You need to give people a compelling reason and, um, you know, to you, and tell them how to use platforms like this. And what we're doing in this instance is we're actually showing, um, relaying the video. It should just kick in, there's just uh, 
This is the, the tr there we go. It's just connecting up now. So this is just a simple video of Air New Zealand's, there's a little bit of latency on the video here. Actually, we'll move on from that then. Um, <laughs> We're using Air Server, which um, wireless connections. Air New Zealand took the opportunity to take an ad out in the same in the same um, in the same publication. And as you can see here, we can watch some video content of their California trips, or we can tap on book now. So there's a they've Air New Zealand commercialised that opportunity uh, within the magazine, and that's that again. It's just a little bit of latency connecting through. There we go, and we can, we can watch video content, we can book their trips. And to launch the magazine, uh, to launch their interactive magazine, um, Business Traveller also had a party and that they issued these invites there. And again, all it's doing is recognising the invitation to deliver different versions of content on there. The party was great. Oh, I must admit, travel parties are the best ever. Um, one of the best things that business traveller do, like they do um, um, sellers in the sky, where it's like they reward all the airlines for their best wines. They took this to the magazine itself as well, so if, if the video connection is still working, we can actually bring the cover of the magazine to life. And if I keep my hands steady, it's just, it's just a little bit jumpy on the video content. You probably can't see that from back there, but there's, there's actually live video just moving off the surface. I've left some booklets in the section at the front desk as well, um, so please, if you want to see these and more, um, you can actually grab these. We work with the Daily Telegraph in the, news in, in the UK and an ultra travel magazine, and they often put together um, double page spreads. No, it seems to be liking. Are we still connected to our server, guys? Yeah? No, it just seems to be able to... Should I close the app and start again? No, there we go. Just not keeping up with me. There's a dual page spread here that I, you, you can't see. There we go. Just a little bit. There's a, a, a delay on the actual just connection, connecting up through to the screens. And this is a double page spread, a feature on Singapore. And what we can bring the page alive by, we could actually watch um, Mark Webber in his Formula One days driving around the Singapore Grand Prix track. And I needn't, I needn't sort of worry you too much with showing those videos. There is a little bit of delay. Um, the editor, Charles Starmer Smith, also uses um, this in the main body of the paper. So when they put together travel logs and features, uh, we can tap to watch um, the safari trips. Seems to have picked up a little bit now. And what this has the advantage of doing, if, when they get sponsored pages, they've got three brand touch points. They've got the physical page, They've got online um, where they host the video content, and the, as you can see here. And in addition, we can actually brand the blip itself, um, the actual bridge in the meantime. I'm just going to whiz through a few more examples. Um, this was a feature on Snow Safari, and Ferrari rather bravely lent the editor a Ferrari to actually go driving in the snow. Have to trust me that this is video and not still. You might be able to see that the little brother is actually moving off the page. Commercially, we work with the likes of Virgin, um, Virgin Airlines. Um, and they use this to, uh, they had a series of advertisements that when blip, deliver all these little icons. So we can tap on any one of them to find out, let's do Vegas. And it would take you through, you probably need to turn your neck 90 degrees if, uh, when this comes through. Actually, it's, ooh, that's a strange sound. And as you can see, um, Blipper does require you to turn your neck 90 degrees when, uh, when presenting <laughs> to a live audience. <laughs> but for those of you who could be bothered to turn your neck slightly to 90 degrees without hurting it, by the way, we are, we are, we are insured. Um, so, but at the time, this, this was a campaign from last year, at the time you could actually click through and tap through to book. 
I'm not sure this is going to work, but this is one of my favourites of where I get to actually, um, I get, I get to, to embarrass myself. Um, Stylist magazine, big popular magazine, it's a free, um, a freely distributed magazine um, in the UK. Um, and they, had, they often had travel features, and two years ago we did an Olympic special. It was a takeover of the whole magazine. And we got the ability to actually bring the game, just the front page image to life. Hopefully. I think we're going to connect up live now, so. I was really enjoying the freedom, but it looks like I'm not going to get away this way. The app works, it's just the cable in it doesn't, so. No offense, guys. Right, and cable, look, do you want to go? Should we go to the right? Right, it looks like we're in. I think you saw that before anyway, didn't you? It's still a delay, it's still a working here. Have. I mean, a, a, lot's been, a lot's been made of uh, social sharing functions, and what we've got is the ability um, to actually sort of create selfies. Now, obviously, with, we've got the ability to lift. This has got nothing to do with travel, but I assume that even sort of hairstylists go on conferences. So what I'm going to aim to do is actually try and take a selfie of myself, <laughs> if, if at all possible. This isn't relayed, is it? It's just stuck at the moment. Um, this is going to be pretty bad, unless Nick can help me, but I'll, I'll take a guess. Could you just sort of put that up my bald head, Nick? <laughs> like just line that up and then press the share button. When Hopefully you're ready. it'll be on there. I press the share. Just the share, but it looks like it's disconnected. The cable's disconnected. Press the yeah. share. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's quite a few buttons. Oh, yeah. I'm embarrassed there. There's, I didn't press it. There we go. That's not bad for his first first attempt. <laughs> but what we have, we have, what we do have is the ability then to share. What's native to the application? is to actually share this um, as well, just immediately to... Um, so let's just put the hashtag Norwegian DTC. It does have a relevancy from the point of view that we do have the ability with image recognition applications such as Flipper to actually share this um, sort of and amplify brand campaigns um, immediately. And that, there we go, so hopefully that's gone and either. For some reason I've got two accounts. A vast improvement, I think you'll agree. Um, we just go back here. Um, conferences. Um, we, we quite hurriedly just split the, um, the conference cover. Um, but this is um, this we attended um, as both a delegate and an exhibitor. Um, the um, an organisation called FIF, the World Magazine Congress. And what we, again, for those of you who might be involved in event organisation or have your own conferences, actually it seems to be a bit more direct now. Thanks, that's much better, fellas. Although the audio's gone. <laughs> Guess where this was held? But as well as this, it's got the ability as well to... Um, to actually put digital tools, I'll just close that down very quickly. Um, throughout the page, throughout the pages, you can actually scan pages to launch digital assets. So they had a whole host of so all of the digital assets. They had applications that go to the website, all the Twitter feeds. So each of these links then could just be tapped upon um, really quickly and easy. The clock's gone, guys. Sorry, I'm just okay. Great. Is that minutes or seconds? Oh, thank God. Um, this, this, is where we get to, you to, this is where we get you to do a little bit of work as well, so uh, you, don't get off, you don't get off this lightly, I hasten to add. They very kindly gave us a nice double page spread house out for this. But what we, what we created, because we were in Rome, at the time we just had offices in the UK and the US. So what, what we did here, uh, we just created, we can create um, virtual postcards. So let's just do the, the taxi. So let's just step back and I'll just tap on that. So if you don't wave through the windscreen, that would be fantastic. 
And now you are, you are the subject matter, and I will save that to my device, and I will actually share that later um, as well. So I'll share that a little later. Um, but this is all well and good. Now, one of the biggest, one of the potentially, um, in some instances, unfair or fair, depending on um, your perspective, is that all, you know, some people call this augmented reality, whereas truly it's image recognition. Um, but it's sometimes described as a little bit of a gimmick. I just want to show you two examples, and uh, these case studies are in the public domain. Um, this campaign here, um, I'll show you very shortly, uh, was for Monarch Airlines, um, Monarch Airways, who wanted to promote their skiing um, destinations. So this campaign ran last year. It was a, an integrated campaign of advertisements and direct mail. Um, and it actually won the, the DMA, the Direct Marketing Association Grand Prix Award. Um, I'll just quickly show you. It featured uh, British Ski on the front page of Metro. So um, they had an ad wrap featuring Kenny Walcott, who, there we go. And it's the Monarch Mountain. Chemi, sorry, not Kenny. And we've got this, we created this little mountain with this very cute little, uh, and then what we can do is at any time we could actually go into, we, we can actually zoom in on it and tap in any of the interactive uh, elements and they, 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 would give, they would give video content and what have you. Um, you could even get some sun, sun tips. Um, you can find out more about the destinations. So unlike, I mean, I was just chatting at lunchtime, unlike QR codes that we, we don't like to liken ourselves to that, it's a more inclusive, dare I say, rounded 3D experience. Um, so what we can do as well, we'll just, actually, well, I've got Nick before, so we can, you put yourself in a snow globe. But what's important about this, and we can share that later as well, um, but let me just share the stats, if I may, just quickly jump off. I'll jump to the official um, Direct Marketing Association page. Um, the actual um, results of this particular campaign were actually quite staggering. Um, it was put together by an agency called WDMP, and we worked with them on the, on the image recognition element of this. But if we just maybe just increase that, the piece that you can see is, direct, is the direct mail piece. But just as I said, just that bottom paragraph results, um, an additional 2.2 million in sales, um, website increase, visit increase of 21.7, um, and they got 8,000 interactions via the Blipper app from 1,750 unique users um, with an average interaction per user of 2.2. What we find when people discover a Blip, they go back and share with their friends. Um, I'm going to show you um, probably the talking of travel, um, excuse my cheesy joke, but probably the biggest uh, traveller or time traveller uh, would be good old Doctor Who. Um, the, um, it was the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who um, recently, and we worked with BBC magazines um, to actually sort of blip their magazines to life. Now, this, the results of this are in the public domain, but are actually sort of quite staggering. Um, they had a circuit, now obviously this is targeted at 11 year old boys, so apart from my cheesy joke of time travel, um, probably doesn't have much relevance. Um, but what, what is relevant of the fact that of, of the fact that of the 28,000 circulation of that magazine, 24,500, 86% downloaded the application and interacted, um, interacted with Blipper. Sorry, the clock's still off, Nick. How long? Oh, sorry, you've got, it's still saying 14. I'm sure you want me to go home at some stage. Huh? <laughs> um, it's not all about Blipper. I just want to show you the, one of the great things um, about Blipper. It enables other content platforms. Anything you can do on a mobile device, we can link to. Um, so I'd like to share another couple of other, other platforms and partners who we work with. You may be familiar with this. Some of you may already be using things like 360, um, 360 tools. Um, this is um, an application that we can link to. Um, created by a Dutch event, sorry, a Dutch organization, who do, and use the accelerometer, so even though I don't like, we can look at the ceiling, we can look at the floor, and they've, they've hot-spotted, so we can actually, sorry, the cables just come out, hopefully we'll be back in a minute, there we go. We can tap on these arrows, and we can walk through the doors, and then we can find out more about the actual walkthrough there. 
So in terms of giving people you know, a flavour or an opportunity to maybe sort of just take a view at something before they get, actually fly there, um, I'm sure you've all seen these sort of 360 walkthroughs. Um, as Tina's highlighted earlier, the, the advent of GoPro cameras means that we can readily create content such as this. So we can go down the hill skiing. As you can see, I'm not a very good skier. Um, but I can look at the sky and what have you. But this is my favourite. Um, some of you may have come across, this is, this is a really powerful tool. Um, it's called, well, there's a whole host of providers, but one we, we particularly work with a company called Interlude, and they provide interactive video. So uh, I've played a lot of video through Blips, but what we can do is, I'm going to show you one example um, of an interactive um, summer camp tour. You'll have to excuse the young girl, she is rather annoying after a few seconds, but please bear with her. <laughs> Hopefully she's a little bit more annoying than me. It's just loading up the, their content. Now this is interactive, so the consumer dictates the narrative and the direction here. Just bear with us. Just yeah. so she 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 pulls up an interactive map. So what we can do is we'll go to Lake Joshua. So each of those little uh, th she's at Lake Joshua. There we go. And at any time in the bottom left-hand corner, we can tap on the icon, and we can go back to the interactive map. So I'm dictating, you know, I'm dictating to have a look at all of these facilities here. Obviously, they need to create the content um, itself. I'm going to go to the boys' camp. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that, really, should I? So. Anyway, I think you get the gist of that, and I think I think we've had enough of this poor little girl here. I'm just trying to close that down. But um, I'll just wrap up, if I may, just a few more points. Right, we're back. So, we, you know, we can help sh showcase your content and other, co other content. Um, it's all about activation, engagement, and measurements. Everything behind this, we're an application at the end of the day. So we measure where you are when you first download Blipper, where you, we, we use heat mapping technology. Um, so we can actually see where you are and where your customers are over the world. Um, and also we can act... act we can activate multiple touch points. We, we do merchandise, we can do football shirts. Any image can be triggered to, in, to um, provide interaction. Um, and it, it can be used all throughout your journey. These are just a sample of the content types that we can work with and play with. And as we mentioned earlier, um, the fourth one along is like we use Google heat mapping technology to be able to zoom into cities and locations. Um, and in terms of if you did want to work with us or have a conversation, we provide soft service, sorry, software as a service and self-service content management systems. All the publishers use these and they create some great campaigns. Uh, we've amassed in three years 9 million users. We've, of those 9 million, we've an active user base of 60%. Um, the numbers kind of speak for themselves um, in three years. Um, come on, don't die on me now, I bet. Um, in terms of best practices, it's invest in the content. We're a content delivery platform. Content is king, we've heard that throughout today. Um, but um, where, where is this all going to lead? And um, obviously, even, even Galaxy is far, far away. It's a really cheesy segue. Um, but even stormtroopers have to go on holiday. So I'm going to leave the last word um, to an assistant of mine, if we may. Just close that down. I'm going to leave the last word. And um, before I go, there's little booklets and this booklet, which gives you more information about what we do and what, we're going to, what we can do to assist you potentially, um, is going to be published um, after the event. Um, but I'd just like to, if we may, let's put this on the floor. I just need the help of an assistant here. Just to prove it's actually real. <laughs> anyway, on that note, he says tack. I don't know what R2D2 is speak, but thanks very much for having me. You've been a fabulous audience.